Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make mini cheesecakes. I'm making strawberry crumble cheesecakes. So we're gonna make the crumb part right now. And the items that you will need are strawberry shortcake crumb. I will leave a description down below on how to make that. You're gonna need two tablespoons of sugar and three tablespoons of melted butter and then a bowl that you're gonna mix everything in. So I'm adding the strawberry crumble. You're gonna need one cup of that. Then you're gonna add the two tablespoons of sugar and then three tablespoons of butter. Next step, after you're done mixing the crumb, you're gonna to wanna to get a muffin pan and then get cupcake liners and you're gonna you're gonna put each cupcake liner in each of the holes. So now you're gonna divide the crumb between each of them. So I'm just adding two little scoops in each one of them. So after you're done putting the crumb inside the cupcake liners, what you're going to want to do is get a cup to smash the crumbs with. So I have a little one like this and just just repeat this process as I'm doing right now. You, you just want to smash the crumb in. So in this part, we're going to make the, the cheesecake. So you're going to need 16 ounce of cream cheese. Make sure it's softened. Leave it out room temperature for about 30 minutes to an hour. Half cup of sugar, two eggs, and a half tablespoon of vanilla extract. So in this part, I had already mixed in the 16 ounce cream cheese and two eggs. You're going to want to keep mixing it until it looks smooth. And once you start to see that it's looking smooth, you're going to add the half cup of sugar but you're gonna wanna add it in little by little. And once the sugar is mixed in, you're gonna add the half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're gonna keep mixing until everything looks smooth. So after you're done mixing the cheesecake, what you're going to want to do is separate into each individual cupcake liner. So I have a cookie scooper and with one, with one scoop, I'm going to put it in each liner. And if you have some left over, you're going to want to evenly divide it into each one. Once you evenly divide the cheesecake into each cupcake liner, what you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then you're going to put the muffin pan inside the oven and you're going to leave it there for about 15 to 17 minutes. I usually do around 16, but make sure you do not overbake or keep it in longer than that. After of it being 16 minutes in the oven, you're going to want to take it out and let it cool. I usually let it cool around two hours, maybe an hour and a half, but you can put it in the fridge and leave it in there for an hour and 30 minutes. So I already went through that process. Right now I'm taking each cheesecake out individually, one by one. Open up. 
So once you take each cheesecake out individually from the pan, what you're going to want to do is put strawberry filling on top of the cheesecakes. The reason I'm doing strawberry filling is because since I did strawberry crumble, I feel that strawberry filling would go best with the cheesecakes. What I'm doing now, I usually do about three strawberries on each cheesecake and then I just put some more jelly on top of the cheesecake and then I just do that over and over again till I'm done. And that's how I make mini cheesecakes. I hope you guys liked my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.